Hi everyone, welcome back to Not Yet Millionaires. This is the sixth episode, and sorry for not posting for so long. We each had like finals since it was like the last week of school, so yeah. sorry about that. But we are gonna start posting again regularly, like every week or so. We're back. Yeah, we're back. So and since summer is starting, we were, we just thought it would be a good idea for each of us to share our summer plans mm -hmm. that we have for this summer. So to maybe like give you guys some ideas about what you guys can do to learn and grow and like make some money this summer possibly. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Yeah. So why don't you start us off in on your summer plans? So I plan to do actually a lot this summer based on making money and learning as much as possible. So to start off, us three actually have all signed up for an ACT prep camp because next year we'll be taking yeah. the ACT. So this camp is gonna help us prepare and learn everything we need to know to get the best score on our ACT so mm -hmm. we can go to the best college and learn the most. And yeah, so it's actually three day camp and then I think we're there for like eight hours. Eight and ten hours a day. Ten, eight, ten, ten hours? That's more than eight hours. It's, it's like from eight to six. Eight to six. So yeah, ten hours a yeah. day for three days. And then um, I got a job at JCW's where I think Reagan is also going to be getting a job mm -hmm. soon. Um, I'll also be doing Not Yet Millionaire's podcast, yes, as we sir. all know. Um, me and my dad have started a resale business. I'm going to start reselling stuff around my house and fixing up and buying stuff so that I can turn a profit this summer, hopefully. Um, I live next to BYU Stadium, so I'll also be selling parking because that's a good side hustle. About four hundred, five hundred dollars a game. So, Wait, what do you what? do with that? Like, just I more just, detail. I just so basically, I just stand outside the sign. Twenty five bucks a spot since I live so mm. close. For every BYU event. Oh, you live close to like the BYU stadium. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I sell twenty five bucks a spot. So that's really smart. I make up to five fifty game. How much um, spots do you guys do? You we have, have three on the road. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you like live on a corner. So yeah, you have, like that mm -hmm. whole triangle. That's yeah, perfect, and then bro. eight on the lawn. Sheesh. So twenty five bucks each. That's, crazy. That's actually good. Wait, let me do the math real quick. Let me do the math. Real and quick. then I will also be trying to learn and probably start investing in stocks this summer. Trying to like, get as much money as I can early on. Jeez, bro, one hundred sixty five for parking. Well, if you guys fill up all this. Well, no, that's only that's only our front yard. Our side yard, we have oh nine my. more spots. Holy crap. Okay, you got so how much per parking? 25. Oh, you said 25. Oh, shoot. Come on. But, how much yeah. Did you put? <laughs> 475, bro. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. per game, and there's like 13 games. Dang. No. So, yeah, that's a pretty good side hustle. Yeah. But, other than that, I don't think, other than just learning as much as possible, I think that's about it for my financial plans why cool. like financially wise all right are you planning on learning more about like investing wise yeah i think i'm gonna like start that? like actually investing this summer and learn as much oh, yeah. as i can did you do your roth IRA set up yet? i'm doing that next week yes so i'll good. start i'll start putting good. Money into that as soon as possible good oh yeah since you're getting a job you can start putting like monthly, monthly and my job back. offers 401k hmm. i think that's for adults yeah. no he, my, i talked to my dad he said i can do it so i'll probably be opening that Oh. Because they'll match up to 8%. Hmm. Oh. So. Sweet. That's crazy good. So, I did not um, know we could do that. Yeah. Mm. So, Zion, what are you planning on doing this summer? Yeah, so most of my summer plans, um, I actually, you guys know this, but I got into summer sales selling solar. Um, and so that's going to be most of my summer, just door-to-door -door sales. And so I started, um, so we actually started like two months ago. But as, as you know, like we we're all busy with school, and so um, starting last week, I started to take it more seriously and did my training, and now I can this coming week I'll start um to, yeah just selling more and knocking more doors every day, and so it's kind of gonna be like a full time thing this summer. So what do you actually like do every day? You go out. Um yeah so, um every day I think we we'll have we have um. A meeting at the at the office at like 11 and then that goes from 11 to 12 and then from 12 I just they send everyone out to go knock doors and do whatever and so I'll be doing that from like 12 to like 8 or 6 on certain days mm -hmm. so yeah just pretty like 
So you just day. set the appointments, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so let me. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to clarify that, but basically, um, so obviously, like we're not old enough to sell solar, mm-hmm. and because you need you need to be eighteen for that, and um, like you know how you need to know how to like close a deal. So what I actually do is I don't I don't close deals. I just um, I'm the person setting up the appointments for the closers to come in and then close those deals. So yeah, and there's there's good commission from it, so that's fun. But yeah, that's that's one of the main things I'll be doing this summer. Um, another thing I'll be doing this summer, like you guys said, um, the ACT prep. Yeah. So that's yeah three days, and then let's see another. Weren't you thinking about doing the BYU entrepreneurship camp as well? Yeah, I'm actually yeah I'm doing that because Reagan and Kainoa got to go to Wharton, and so I'll be going to BYU has this entrepreneurship camp. I don't know what when like the date is for that, but um, I'll, I'll be signing up for it. Oh, June twentieth. Okay, but yeah, I'll be signing up for that. So yeah, sounds yeah, fun. That'd be fun. Anything else? Um. Oh yeah. So along with what Finn's doing, I also resell just on at um, eBay or OfferUp. I just flip items. Um, like I'll get them for cheap at like you know DI or. <laughs> Uh, what's other like good thrift stores, you know what I'm saying? And then just flip them up, like either clean it, paint it up, or I, I, I flip like I don't flip a certain like niche, I just flip any items I can get my hands on. And so I do that, and I also got an, um, accepted in Amazon selling, so I'll try selling there too, see if that's probable. Amazon, um, it's not Amazon FBA, it's Amazon, um, Shoot, I forgot the name, but it's basically you go to like stores like Walmart or like Target and you find stuff in like the clearance aisle and you basically buy it from there for like really cheap and sell it for more on Amazon and oh. you just take the profit from that. So what Amazon does... So you do all the like the shipping and stuff? Mm-mm. So what's nice is that um, through um, FBA or Amazon FBA, it's a program that they offer, I can um, send Amazon... Um, my items and they'll hold it for for uh they hold it for me for like, you know, a certain amount per month. So like if it's like a little, small little like trinket or whatever, it'll like twenty five cents a month to hold it in the warehouse. So I, I send it to the warehouse and as soon as it, as soon as it someone buys it from like Amazon, um they take it from the warehouse and they just ship it directly. And so I don't have to deal with anything, mm-hmm. and they deal with customer support um and everything like that and returns and everything. So um I'll try I'll be trying that out too so yeah it's nice pretty good uh and, then, and another thing I'll be doing is I'll be um I have oh yeah I explained to you the entrepreneurship camp yeah I think that's it actually drop yeah shipping oh and drop shipping yeah yeah so um I actually wise weebs, wise weebs yeah if you are interested oh, in our man. new project me and kind of our uh, running an accessory shop, so go find that link down below. Um, <laughs> it's we're just develop, we're just it's in, just in the development stage right now. But yeah. Um, oh, and that reminds me of another thing. So yesterday, I actually had a friend call me, and he's so you know I like like to like program and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Um, so I actually got a gig yesterday, my first gig, and um, so that's pretty cool. He offered to pay me, um, I think three hundred. For my first deal, and I basically just build a website uh, for them. So, yeah, so it's pretty sick. So I'll be doing that too. Just trying to find gigs, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all the plans so I have. So what's the website? What's the website for? Um, so they're gonna be selling shoes on the website. So, not they're not drop shipping shoes. They're just selling their own inventory, oh, nice. and they just need a website. So I'm just gonna go develop that for them. But yeah. It's gonna use like Wix or something. Um, I'm probably I might just use um, either uh, ClickBank or um, Shopify. So. So when you oh. say like design a website, does that mean like you design all the like what it looks like and everything? Mm-hmm. And then if they click like shop, it like drops a bar down. Like yeah, you, yeah. Like, you yeah. You like make where if you click like mm-hmm. shop, it'll bring you to a certain page. You like code yeah. it to where it brings you to pages. Yeah. So the nice thing, with, but with with Shopify, it's more built in, so there's less technical knowledge needed um but things like yeah clickbank and shopify you can um you can it's also nice because if you know programming like which i do you can customize it to your own needs and you're not like limited to what 
um, what Shopify. They already have. Yeah, what they already have. Exactly. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So yeah, that's a nice little thing. But yeah, I think that's everything for me for the summer. Okay. What about you, Reagan? So um, yeah, uh, like they said, I'm also going to the ACT camp. So that's gonna probably be a pain in the butt, <laughs> but at least I'll gain some experience. It's and probably get some good scores for long days for my yeah mm -hmm. like for my college application so they would think I'm smart yeah and then I th I'm all, oh yeah also June 19th I think I'll be leaving to Pennsylvania to go to my Wharton finance summer camp mm -hmm. I'm like really excited for that because Wharton is like such a good school and like so many uh, people from the finance field went to that school like people like Warren Buffett I think there's um Elon wait Elon. I feel like there's more but I forget. Oh yeah. Elon Musk oh, yeah. went there. He did? Oh yeah, Trump also went there. I know, Trump. Trump. Trump went Trump there. Didn't his daughters there. go there too? What? I thought his daughters went there too. I mean oh, probably, sure. I don't know. But there was I read this book called like Richard Wise Are Happier and oh, yeah. literally in like every single one of those people that, that guy said has interviewed, like almost all of them went to Wharton Finance Wharton. <laughs> the in their like finance course so i'm like really excited for that gonna learn a lot and i'll also tell you guys what i learned and like my experience there um so yeah and also i will also be learning like finn said more about investing and stuff what i'm mainly focusing on right now is just like how to read an annual statement like a 10k which is basically a like a company a like a, every single company that's like uh public or whatever they have to they have to like write up an annual report about their company like how they're doing their competitors their risks and their like finance finances mm -hmm. and then they have to share it with all of their shareholders so that their shareholders could get like an image of what their company mm -hmm. like financial health or whatever stuff like that and so it's like really important because uh, you can get a lot of information for it from it, and then you can like uh, decide on whether or not it's a good company to buy. So I'm learning on how to read that because it's like a hundred pages. Okay. So I need to like learn how to filter out the not important stuff and mm. just get to the point. So it's I'll more like things, seeing if you can like value in a company, seeing if they're like how their business runs and stuff like that. Yeah, seeing if it's like a good company because that's like my that's how I want to invest. Yeah, and that's, that's good. What Isn't I'm that learning. Like basically towards. value investing. No, so value investing is where you like uh, find companies. They don't have to be good. They they can be like bad companies, mm -hmm. but they're just like really undervalued. Oh, like, so you're basically finding are, the value of their stock compared to what it's actually worth. Yes. So like, how much they're selling it for based on how much it's actually going to be worth. Yeah. So um, that's what that's actually what like Warren Buffett did. It's like yeah, a, it's I know called, that's what Warren Buffett. It's called it's strategy. called like the cigar butt method, but he also mm -hmm. uh, it's called like the cigar butt method, like where you they call it that because people uh, find cigar butts in the ground, and some of them have like one last puff. <laughs> So you can just like take one last puff out of it and then throw it away. That's basically that's basically what it is. It's like a trash stock, mm. but that you can flip basically. But they're so like undervalued. You can still like sell it for more than it makes than it's like yeah. than you're than you're buying yeah, it yeah, for. Yeah. So you're making a profit. But once you like once it gets to a certain price, you're gonna throw it away because it's a bad company. So is that more of like a short term? Game? Yeah, kind of, kind of short term investing. So yeah, so Warren Buffett he like. Uh, evolved from that and so basically he's buying like good companies that are also undervalued so basically he's using the same method just for higher he's go yeah he's using the same method for like growth more, companies like more expensive yeah. bigger growth companies yeah for like good companies companies with like a good business model but are still undervalued yeah so by that way he wouldn't like throw it away because it's yeah. they're gonna still keep growing yeah they're a good company so he would just like hold it forever basically and so yeah um, I'm also trying to, f yeah, so with this, like learning how to invest and stuff, I want to figure out how to like value these companies because that's one of like the key points, buying some, buying a stock at a reasonable price so you're not overpaying for it. And so, yeah, I really want to do that. And, and then are you thinking about, about getting a job this summer as well? Oh yeah, and since Finn is going to 
uh, JCWs, I think I might do that too because working with friends is always fun. <laughs> and that's partly kind of why I quit Malawi's because it was so boring. And, you, and didn't you like not get paid as well? Oh yeah, it, the pay was kind of bad too, and I had to work till eleven <laughs> to get him paid. Okay. You get paid like eight dollars, so well, I was we like, get no. well, we have to work till eleven thirty. Yeah, but you get paid like thirteen. But that's only on weekends. Yeah, yeah, hmm. but you get paid thirteen. So yeah, and I also get to work with wins, and then I'm gonna use the money that I got get I get from the job and like put it into my Roth IRA. And a Roth IRA, uh, just to like explain it again, and like a 401k, mm -hmm. a Roth IRA is basically where you put in pre-tax money. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So like uh, normally, if you earn money, you you have to get taxed by it. It's mm -hmm. like if you invest in stocks and your stocks grow, then you're you, being taxed by how much they grow. Tax yeah. on the gain. Yeah, yeah. You have yeah. to get taxed by what you earn. Mm -hmm. That's like income tax or something. I don't know what mm -hmm. it's called. The capital gains tax. But if you get a Roth IRA, you can put in pre-taxed money. Mm -hmm. So the so, money you put in is already taxed by the it, tax rate right now. Yeah, and then as it grows, by the time you take it out, it will be tax-free. Yeah, because so it's already like, been taxed the money you take out is tax-free. Because it's already been taxed in the past. Yeah, Even exactly. if tax rates grow higher, mm -hmm. then they'll, it'll still be... You'll, you're all mm -hmm. you have it taxed, so, so you're the, still getting... There's, a, there's you're also... Still the exact same amount. There's also a limit. There's also a cap to that. Roth IRA, it's like six thousand yeah. dollars a year, yearly. So, yeah, and then like there's also like an age limit or something that you can you have to keep the money in the your Roth IRA until so it's like, like sixty five mm -hmm. or something. So when I went to Schwab to get my Roth IRA, um, they actually had me create a custodial Roth IRA, so under my dad's name because you're not you're not like old enough to have a mm, yeah, your yeah, own yeah. Roth IRA. You have to be like eighteen or whatever. So when it comes and to like, custodial, wait, when it comes to custodial. When you turn 18, will your parents' name automatically be taken? Oh, yeah, it would just so it'll, it'll transfer down transfer to you. To you. Oh, okay, that's to your name. Okay. Yeah. So sorry, and then your... and then you have like full, full access. access. And okay, rights sorry, what was your the... question? That was well, that was what I was gonna say. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so that's basically it for Roth IRA, and it's yeah. it's really good for teenagers because, um, that that pre tax money is very important because over time, obviously, the younger you are, you can invest the better like chain or like the better more profits you'll gain yeah, yeah and the like the, the basically the point of the roth ra is that because we are like teenagers and stuff so if you're looking so if you don't earn as much money as you do i like as you think you are going to in the future so basically like mm -hmm. if you earn very little money right now but you think that as you grow you're going to earn more money in the future mm -hmm. that that's when you should use a roth ira because if you since you have like s small amounts of money right now that you're gonna put in pre-taxed, the amount of money lost from the taxes is gonna be minimal uh, compared to if you have like a lot of money and you're about to retire. Yeah. yeah. And you're about to retire and then you put that in that the tax. The amount of taken... the amount of money you're putting in will have much higher tax rates because it's a more mm -hmm. higher amount yeah. of money. So like so one percent you... of one hundred thousand is like little, and one percent of one million would be more. Yeah, yeah. yeah so basically if you're putting in less money it's being taxed less but in the end it'll still compound high enough to be worth it yeah and there's also something called the the, the traditional Roth IRA uh, it's for like it's basically you put in post-tax money so your money that you put in is not taxed but the money that you get out of it like the uh, income I think is all will, will be taxed yeah so yeah, I think that's how it works. But that's for like people who um, are thinking that they are going to earn less money mm -hmm. that they are doing that they are earning right now. Yeah, we'll put the definitions up on the video because because uh, that was kind of a lot. But we yeah. try to explain it in the most simplest terms, at least for us. But yeah, and, the and then the four hundred one k is basically a Roth IRA, but you just you put in money and then your employer will like match the money that you put in. Mm. And so it's like, kind of useful. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I think I want to do that too. The four hundred one k. Yeah, he offered that to me, and I thought it was really good. They said to start off, they'll instantly put three percent in. Okay, three percent of what? He said of your of whatever what you, you put in. Oh no, what of what you put in at first? Whatever you put in. Yeah. Holy bro. Okay, that's actually kind of good. All right, and even um, any other plans for the summer? I don't think so. 
I think that's it. Yeah. Cool. So unfortunately, Clement wasn't able to make it today, but um, we talked to him, and he um, he basically said that his plans are obviously like you know he said he'll go to Wharton with you. Yeah, he's doing the, he's doing the entrepreneurship one because and I'm doing the finance doing the one. Finance, that's right. So he's, essential he's, yeah. entrepreneurship. I yeah. think he's also like one of part of the program is to like. Um, like get together as groups and start a mini business hmm. so and then like they come compete with each other I guess I, I don't know yeah. much about it but that's what I heard when and, when yeah. you and Kainoa get back we want to hear from you and we want to hear we want to make an episode about it which, and what you guys learned and oh yeah for sure you can teach us and the viewers and about what you guys learned in the, the camps <clears throat> um, so yeah and another thing he was doing obviously I explained that he's doing the drop tripping with me um, and I think that's it, right? Oh, and he said he explained that he was going to do cryptocurrency because he's super invested in that. And so, yep. Yeah. So he's going to learn more about that. Yeah. And all, all right. That's the video guys. If you, if you guys made it this far, we'd like to thank you. Um, if you haven't followed our social medias, go do that in the description down below. Um, there's like, well, we're trying to, we're trying to put out new videos like every week. So look out for that next week. I think we're gonna start interviewing people. Yeah. So that's gonna be exciting. And then if you guys have any question, comments, or video ideas, we'll, you can put those in the comments down below, and we'll read them all. Yeah. Thank, all right. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a wrap.